So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job, so I can't drive you around to all of these spots. Uh, I can maybe do the graveyard? I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop ever since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. <clears throat> what is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She's like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Oh wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. You want to stick around for this? Sure. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I'll start us off with one of my own. They don't actually pay her in string, right? Yes, may they literally pay her in string. I was just joking. Right. <clears throat> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student, the subject of my stories, I tell friends back home when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry at the end of my life. You'll be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Poor Miss Quelsey. At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels... Tunnel eels, I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime, but neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it hardly is yours is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. Next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel frogs swim tunnel tunnel frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark. To be a fisherman like me. But what do you know? Amphibi? <laughs> Am amph amphibi? Amphibian? What I huh. I guess that kinda works. That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about what fish think. That tunnel always spooks me. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers. Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky, short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. She's not wrong. No reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare. Like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet. Baby-faced boy, billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. 
world where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access. Access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lead in our water. Alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours, forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house and the yard. Some night, I will catch a, catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Huh, she ran to entrepreneur. Yeah, that was good. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Summers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it her... Nice work, Smelmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two... Sorry. That's cool. Can we go now? Okay. Thanks for coming. We live here. Right. So, find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. <laughs> Look... <laughs> Look at May's super eager nod. Oh my god, it's so cute. I don't even want to move to the next dialogue because I just want to keep watching them nod. <laughs> there were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up? Share custody of you and your ghost? <laughs> what places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The Historical Society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the Historical Society. Awesome. So, what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. Ta-da! It's Selmers, a good poet. Thought, if I die, Selmers should write a poem about it. Ugh. Yeah, it seems like that's going around. The, uh, the yuppers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were, but we talked about it. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine, we're cool. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Oh. Hey, I don't, I don't remember like ever having a message from this person. Is this, that's a, uh, that's Angie, right? I'm gonna just keep calling him Angie. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I uh, looked up a map and it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum's Jump. Okay, great. Never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. 
Night, sir. Tips hat. Please don't tip your hat. I just realized this is... This is me, isn't it? I was like, who is this fourth person? The fourth person is me, of course. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but... Then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? Your ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. Ah, I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just this... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? <laughs> I fell asleep. Uh, I wonder what kind of a dream we're going to have tonight. fall all the way down here. Are we underwater? I think this is like a city under the water. All these shadows. Whoa! That's a cool fish. exactly were those four lights? Oh, somewhere above me.
Okay, well I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return I think it's time to start doing some sleuthing. <laughs>